We are made of star stuff. If you want to be really geeky about it, you can say we're only 93% star stuff by weight. The rest is hydrogen, which technically existed before stars. And while we've got a good idea of what you and I and the results of all this star stuff look like, we don't usually have a very good idea of what star stuff itself looks like. We get these gorgeous images of what supernovas and stars look like, but they're often two-dimensional. We don't really have a way of interacting with star stuff in a three-dimensional way. But what if we could 3D scan a supernova? How awesome would that be? We can't exactly take a connect and hold it up to the sky and hope to get a 3D scan of a supernova, though that would be very cool. And we can't exactly shrink a supernova down and take it into a hospital and through an MRI machine, but that's sort of what a group of space hackers at Harvard did. They took MRI software, actually a software package called 3D Slicer, which is an open source technology that takes brain scans and maps it into three dimensions. They used that on Cassiopeia A, a gorgeous supernova remnant, and they took images from Cassiopeia A and fed it through this MRI technology and was able to produce a 3D animation of this supernova remnant. The thing that's amazing about this is this was actually the very first time anyone had made a 3D fly-through of a supernova remnant. And what I love so much about this is that the group at Harvard actually created a project around it called the Astronomical Medicine Project, which tries to get people from the medicine department and people from the astronomical department together to collaborate and share ways of doing cool stuff. This is what I always love so much about space hacking. It's really about getting unusual collaborations together to produce many amazing, beautiful things that actually can change our way of understanding science and space exploration in whole entire new ways.